This is a squash vine borer. It is a major pest in the horticulture world. Even though it looks kind of like a wasp, it's actually a fantastic mimic. So this is a moth in the Lepidopteran order. It is a clearing moth. And I really like how it is a great mimic. When it's fluttering its wings, it actually can buzz a little bit. So it really does a good job of looking the part and acting the part of a wasp. On the other hand, it cannot sting you. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, like I said, this is a major pest of cucurbits. Like summer squash, it devastates crops. It can affect some of the other cucurbits, but there are some that don't seem to have an issue. You'll typically see the adults being about half an inch. This is what it looks like. If you look really closely at the beginning of the season when they start laying eggs, and that's going to be like late June, typically, depending on where you are in the state of Missouri, but they're flat, they're brown, they're really, really small. So you'd really have to be looking for them. Now, they actually overwinter as larvae or pupae in the soil. So it's important to know that so that you know how to take care of them if you do have a problem with them. So interestingly, you might not actually see the adults, but if you are planting cucurbits and you're not taking precautions and you're not planting things that are resistant to them, then this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a plant, you're, you're going to see your squash that completely wilts and you're going to wonder why. But if you look down at the base, you're going to see it looking pretty bad. And then if you dig into it a little bit, you might see what looks like a white worm and that's the caterpillar. And so there's several things that you can do to prevent this, as well as possibly, if you're quick about it, be able to save the crop. So it, it is a very challenging pest to prevent and manage, but monitoring is going to be really important. You can watch for them, you can actually trap for the adults, and then continue to monitor. But some things that you can do, you can plant things that are resistant or not usually attacked. So like cucumbers are typically not attacked. A lot of the melons tend to not get attacked as much. Some of them do. Butternut squash would be another example of one that doesn't always get attacked. I lose my summer squash every year if I plant them, so I'm kind of giving up on those. But you can also plant them a little bit late when the crops get to be the right size and the adults aren't as active anymore. If you do have this, it's important that you pull and destroy any plants that are killed by this moth. You can also use floating row covers if you do detect these, but you have to be careful if your plants are flowering then they're not going to be able to have bees if you use that. So it can cause a problem that way. Also rotating your crops is important. If you do find that you have this, if you would detect it early, you actually can cut into the stem and remove the caterpillar. There are some chemical controls. If these other things don't work, I will put a link in the chat for more information.